So last but not least, we also installed a camera in our backyard right over here, so we're able to see anyone who comes through the gate. Welcome to the Home Automation X channel. Thank you so much for watching. Having security cameras in your smart home is important for your safety. And we were actually sent these 4K MCrest cameras alongside with the network video recorder. There is a ton of settings and configuring you can do, and I'm gonna be showing you guys exactly what you need to what's what you need to know and what's important to know. But before I go ahead and get into this video, guys, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel, click that bell icon so you stay notified because we do release videos on a weekly basis. And if you guys want to purchase any of these items, we do have links down below, or you can also check out amazon.com slash shop slash X. It's easy to remember. If you're serious about having security cameras around your home, then by the end of this video, you're going to realize that having the network video recorder is probably the best way to go. It allows you to have all your videos locally recorded to this very box at the same time. This NVR holds eight 4K cameras and you're able to see it on a centralized location to be able to live view. You can record, you can even play back the videos. Now you can also have it connected through Wi-Fi. If you wanna have the cameras connected through Wi-Fi, it needs to be on Viv compatible. Now the preferred method is using ethernet cables and we'll be actually showing you how the NVR works, but first I'm gonna go ahead into the cameras. So these are 4K dome cameras and they are powered by the ethernet. So you can download the app and you're good to go. Now I'm gonna show you guys, if I just lift the dome above me like that, you can mount this by just screwing it on the wall. And you're also able to adjust the camera once you have mounted it. You can adjust it in three ways. So one way is by shifting it like that. You can also adjust it like that. And you can also twist it actually twist the camera itself that way. Now there's also a spot here for the SD card that's going to locally record all your videos straight to it, but we're not going to be doing that because we're going to be using the NVR and I'm going to show you guys exactly how. Because these cameras are powered by ethernet, make sure you guys have an either Cat5e, Cat6 or Cat7 cable. Before I go ahead and show you guys the camera, I'm going to just point out these four cables that we have and it connects to the microphone, the speaker, you have the power cable here and the alarm. We won't be needing any of those because we're actually going to be using the ethernet cable and that's going to power and signal everything to our camera. We installed one of these dome cameras at the front of the house so we're able to capture whoever's walking to the front. So we also installed one of the cameras right above our driveway here. So we're able to see anyone who's walking up towards our driveway. And this is actually connected to the ethernet and that powers it up so you don't need any more additional power supply. So last but not least, we also installed a camera in our backyard right over here. So we're able to see anyone who comes through the gate. Here's what the camera looks like at nighttime in darkness. I'll show you each of the three outdoor cameras one at a time and you can see the quality is good even without any additional light on. You can't go wrong with a 4K camera. It definitely beats a 1080p. So our Reolink C1 Pro is on VIF compatible and you could have it connected to the ethernet wire or you could have it connected through Wi-Fi to be able to monitor our front foyer here. So as you can see, it's pretty grainy because the quality is 1080p. So as you can see over here on our screen, we have four cameras connected. These first three cameras that we have here are the MCrest 4K cameras. And now the last one we have down here is the Wi-Fi Reolink C1 Pro. Um, we connected the cables and as soon as we did that, the cameras were recognized. So there's so much you can do, but I'm going to show you guys the key features. I'm actually using the NVR console, but you can also use your laptop as well. So that console came with this mouse that we have. I'm going to show you guys how we can navigate through this. So as a right click, I can have the option of viewing my screen as one screen so I can choose whichever camera I want on that screen. I'm going to choose the third one and show you guys. 
So that's my backyard door right there. Now I can also view it as the four screens that I had it as previously, or I can also do it as five to eight screens as well. I have the option of viewing it as eight screens in a way that I could have one enlarged like this. And I also have the option of viewing all nine screens if I had nine cameras um, and they're all shown equally here. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys some features in the main menu. So once I click on the main menu, down here, I have the option of clicking on the camera, which shows me all the information regarding the camera here. And also I can look at the device status. I could also upgrade the firmware. So next we have the events that I'm gonna show you guys. Now under motion detect, sorry, I'm like breaking my neck here trying to show you guys this. <laughs> Under motion detect, we have the region. So I could set exactly which region I want the motion to be detected. So I obviously don't want to detect anything that's happening on the sidewalk and on the road because there's gonna be plenty of people walking by that I don't really care for. And also I can do it here on my grass because there's probably a lot of animals lurking around and all I want is to pick up the motion that is in the red which is on my front porch so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys now from event I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the storage now over here you can see that I have the option of choosing just a regular um, recording of my cameras here where it's going to be picking up everything and any motion that's happening i can also choose motion where it's only picking up the motion that's occurring and it, you can see here it has every day of the week there as well sunday monday tuesday um and yeah so i'm going to take you guys to the main menu here right over here under the search bar i have the option of looking at all three of the video clippings from all sorry four cameras and I have the cameras listed here on the right. So let's just say I want to look at the third camera that I had up. And I want to pick a certain time, a specific date. I can just click right on that time. Let's say 1019 from what I see here. I'm kind of blind. But let's just say I wanted to capture something. Maybe I had um, an intruder that I wanted to you know, take to the police or something like that. I can literally save this to my USB. I can save it to my laptop and I could, um, I could uh, take it from there. Also, you can download the MCRES app and you can scan your NVR QR code, which is right here on the top of our console. And you're able to actually see all four cameras from your phone or your tablet at that moment. So the NVR actually doesn't come with a disk drive. If you wanted to purchase that, you're able to purchase one that has up to six terabytes. Now we received one for two terabytes and the drive is actually installed right now. It goes up to a few days um, before the video wraps up around again. Now, if you wanted to go ahead and get more information on that, we have the links down below guys and anything else in this video, if you guys wanted to check it out, we also have the links down below for that as well. So let us know what you guys think about this system. Would you rather have your Wi-Fi cameras connected to the cloud? Would you rather have it to your SD card or would you ha rather have it to your NVR? Now, I prefer having it connected to my NVR because the ethernet cables are actually providing a secure network. It also provides better quality for your footage that you're receiving. And also you won't notice that it will drop in and out if you were to, let's say, use Wi-Fi. Um, it causes less of a strain on your bandwidth as well. So that's a pretty cool thing. Now, um, yeah, if you guys found that video useful, I hope you guys share that with some of your friends and your family. This is the wrap. This is the end of the video, guys. And um, I hope you guys check out the rest of our videos here on the right. We will see you guys next time. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, follow us on Twitter, and don't forget to check out our website, homeautomationx.com. We will see you guys next time.